So my name is Adam Kovacs and I'm the lead president of Karate Combat. I supervise the sport. We build a rule set. We are building a brand new sport, which will be one of the coolest new combat sports. Ever. Get here at a certain time. Now wait uh, for weigh-ins to get started here shortly. Right now, um, seems like all the fighters are here like usual. So we're just waiting on some sort of management. Karate Combat moves pretty quick. Time to roll. The founding of the organization was back in uh, 2017 and the two guys from Wall Street, they thought it would be really cool to make a karate league because back in 2016, the UFC got sold for $4 billion and at the same year, in 2016, karate became an Olympic sport. I was a fighter myself. I did karate for 16 years in the national team and all together for more than 30 years now. And they didn't know that back then if they wanted me as a fighter or based on what they heard about me, if they wanted me to help build the sport itself. We could see that something resonated there and then uh, we can build a new sport together. My name is Josh Quayhagen. I am the 75 kilos, the welterweight world champion at uh, Karate Combat. Um, we are here uh, at the next event, I'm defending my title versus uh, Dionisio Gustavo from the Dominican Republic. Uh, he's an amazing fighter. We fought before, um, and I'm excited to go to war. From the blue corner, Joshua Kvihigan, 74.2. The best part, weigh-ins right here. That moment right there is the best. Oh, he's so good. I'm going to do some hot water, too. Now I'm nothing left to do but the fun part. My name is Boss Wooten. I used to start, my first martial art was actually karate. You know, that's how I started. And many years later, I became a Thai boxer. From Thai boxing, I went into mixed martial arts. I became the first European who won the UFC title. I won three world titles in Japan, in the UFC Hall of Fame. And all this led me to this place here right now because they called me about three years ago and they said, hey, we're starting this new full contact karate organization. Uh, we would like you to be the ambassador and maybe the host of the show. And I say, yeah, what is not to like? I mean, full contact karate. We're talking about Olympic level karate as we have here. Literally who fight in the Olympics, but they're at semi-contact. And now they come over here and they can fight full contact. It's great to see because you see the evolution. Because in the beginning, these point karate, they go, yeah, and they stop. You know, but then the other guy who had some kickboxing classes, kickboxing classes as well, just keeps going and he pounds him. So people started learning. They started also learning how to use the wall here. Okay, and slowly but surely you see the evolution. Now suddenly there's a takedown rule. You can take somebody down. You can rain down strikes for him on five seconds. You can use the, the wall there to push off and punch or maybe to use it to escape. Everything combined is really action-packed. Uh, we flew in, uh, got in about three days ago. It's, uh, a little bit of jet lag coming from Louisiana. After that, man, it's been really good. Peaceful place. Mindset's really good. Got tired, recovered, made weight, everything. But feel good. Ready to rock, ready to, to go to war. Whatever he's got to bring, whatever he's going to do to me, whatever he's got planned, I'm ready to take it all, smile at him, and dish it back to him. I'm, I'm pumped for it. I know he's ready, too, so tomorrow's going to be good. Y'all check it out. So now we have a welterweight title defense on the line, Joshua Quayhagen against Dionisio Gustavo. And this is a rematch, actually. They fought back in 2019 in Orlando, where Josh uh, beat Dionisio in, uh, with, a, with a decision win. It is Joshua Quayhagen winning by decision. No surprise there over a very game. Tired, but hanging in till the end, Dionisio Gustavo. class. He's younger, he's faster, he's stronger. Um, I kind of boast in my weakness. I want to I want to go in there like uh, I'm the underdog. That's the mindset. The first time we fought, it uh, came out hot, kind of caught me early, dropped me in the first round. And, uh, you know, I didn't feel too 
to worry, but I just kept coming, kept coming, ended up breaking him and, and pouring it on second and third round. For the most part, it's just about whether and whatever he wants to bring and just dragging him to that deep water. Um, got some things that I know are going to hit him. Uh, he got some things he knows is going to hit me, so we can both take some shots throw some shots and then see who's uh, smiling at the, after we get into that deep water. And uh, I like to swim, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that moment. It is time for our title fight. Defending champion Joshua Quayhagen in the blue corner in the black pants. And he is taking on Dionisio Gustavo. Gustavo, his, his entire life fully embroiled. Ooh. Oh, he's oh, got him! And it's a big shot! The strike. Quay Hagen knocked back down to the ground. Yeah, Quay Hagen is still not there. Oh, again, connected. Stiff jab there. There's still four rounds left to go as we close out the first round here. He shows gloves up. He's ready to go. The cut's been worked on. Mark Goddard gets us underway here for our second of five rounds. Touch of gloves. Deniso Gustavo. Lining up, trying to look for that perfect moment to strike again. Trying to counter as Quayhagen closes in. Who's going to get the last flurry here? And it's a big shot from Gustavo. Quayhagen comes forward, lands with a left, throws the kick combination. So Quayhagen measuring. Unorthodox stance, Very good nice. kick up the outside and acknowledged oh, by Gustavo. Right on that straight punch again. Quayhagen again, trying to press the action, trying to come forward. He knows. How much our judges here value aggression from the American. And we end round number three. His brother giving him some further instructions. Another three minutes on the clock as we get. enter round number four here. Roy Hagen again setting himself in the middle of the pit. He's going to pour with that outside lead hand. And there it is. Gets stuck in as soon as the range closes. Wow. Him back. I'd love to see him use that position. What do you think about... Uh, Quay Hagen really turning the table. Nice high kick, look at that. Yeah, caught him on the toes. Beautiful. We've got about half of this final fifth round. Gustavo oh. sits down. And did he get kicked in the head? Did it he? almost looked like Quayhagen in the knee. Digging deep, Josh Quay Hagen, Denise Gustavo throwing in the pocket for the final few seconds. High kick to end. Oh, let's go down to the pit for our official decision. We have no Yep. It was a battle. Uh, it's that good walk. This the, it's my favorite walk right here, this post-fight limp. My favorite. I don't want nothing but to just limp around for a long time. A belt's just a belt. But the battle, man, that was good. As ugly as things went wrong. But I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. Uh, uh, he caught me with some counter right hooks. The first punch of the fight. Um, Denicio hits me, cuts my eye open, gives me a little wobble. To, and from there, we're, I'm in the, the war zone. It's ugly. But it was good. It was a battle. Uh, God, I just love it in there. You know, there's no, no place I'd rather be. 15 minutes of... Just full-on fun.